trying to save my bro phone Hey, you want me to drop that? What? I fucks with it, bro. I fucks with it. What's the bass knocking. Fucks with the Spanish guitar. You got the reverb on that, motherfucker. You hear me on the lyric side. He yeah. definitely got that good. Carlos Santana blazing in that Yeah, background. you hear me. <laughs> What's the yeah. Carlos Santana. Yeah, I'm married Say it 27. <laughs> back. I'm a, I might drop that song. I ain't yeah, gonna lie, though. I fucks with it. That's, it, that's the it. first song that I didn't uh, I didn't heard from you, by you. So, you know what I'm saying? For, with that being said, you definitely got a nigga's attention with that. I've been sharpening my tools before I drop. Cause I've been rapping consistently for the past two years. Yeah. And I ain't want to drop no bullshit. Respectfully. Because yeah. I'm a, I do reactions on my YouTube. So I react to songs that's that's weak as hell. And I'm, I'm like, this, I can't do this. So let me just let me just perfect mm -hmm. it. So then when I perfected it and I did that get your roll on, I teased it one time. He the first person that, that was singing that shit. And I'm like, damn, okay, that's one. The next thing you know, everybody started doing it. So I started teasing it on different videos I was doing and shit like that. Yeah. And everybody been fucking with it. So I'm going to drop it song. Yeah, you got to come some type of way because with you being somebody that do reactions, you critique people. So a motherfucker that's critiquing, a little, you got to know, once you drop something, yeah, sure. motherfucker on your ass. They want to see, no, no. see how you coming. I just yeah. want y'all to know, I'm my own engineer. I'm my own cameraman. So I literally record anytime I want to. I just literally recorded some shit damn near last night. Like, I record every day type shit. That's hard. That's I ain't gonna lie. Man. I think the funniest shit, though, that is, would be seeing a motherfucker react to their own shit. <laughs> like yeah. he did earlier. Won't see me doing it. You know, we watched you react to uh, the MJ Yola video earlier. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That's, that's hilarious. Yeah, We're gonna get to that. Man. But let me make a phone call so we can go through what everybody been up to, what everybody got going on, man. <clears throat> what the hell? Y'all turn. This is Steve Harvey shit for real. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the big leagues. What the hell? These made a lot of phone calls. <laughs> they better know what's going on. Oh, yeah. Y'all niggas crazy. <laughs> Answer this phone, boy. All right, you're going to miss your opportunity to be on, 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 on this big time now, baby. <laughs> right, he'll Hi, probably, thanks he'll for probably call the back. To... All right, man. Uh, uh, o Block, what's up, bro? Tell me what you've been up to, man. Talk to, the, to, to our viewer audience. Get them a little bit about yourself before we get into these topics. Uh... For those y'all don't know me, man, I am, man, the reincarnated man, old block, man, formerly known as the Screws nigga, man. Uh, just came home, you know what I'm saying? Did a little, uh, did five years, then came home, was only out a couple months, and then went back to seven. PV, you know what I'm saying? So I'm back home, back at it, about to try, you know what I'm saying, give, uh, give what's been overdue. So that's why you re reincarnated? Yeah, on everything. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> on everything. Yeah, it's time to shed that yeah, whole skin. I ain't gonna lie to you, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, they was locking me down, and I'm I'm, I'm back to lock shit down. So know? I ain't gonna lie. I do interviews myself, so I want to ask you if you can go back and tell yourself. The, if you can go back and have a, have a conversation with yourself today, you got sentence. What would you tell yourself? That's a good question. Just quick on your feet with that one. On huh? everything, boy, you hear me? Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't expecting that one. Uh, uh, I'd have did, did it. I'd have did it over. I wouldn't have went the route I went. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cause being where I'm at now, looking back then, I had a, I had too much to. I had too much going on. Okay. And I didn't take. I didn't take in consideration what I had going on. You ain't think about how much shit depended on you. Outside of until it and, and mm -hmm. until, until it was too late and when it was too late. I so to, I want to ask you. So since you been out, can you 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 think you been you 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 made major steps? Cause I ain't gonna lie, you didn't got out. I, this is my first time meeting you, but from what it seems like, you doing you doing your shit for real. Cause you on a you feel me on a platform now on yes, a sir. podcast. You doing your shit for real. Well, what allows me to be where I'm at is being connected and rubbing elbows with good people. Angle, I want you to put that applause shit on for him. <laughs> hey, man. Respect, man. Yeah, I appreciate you, little boy. <laughs> man, that's hard. Yeah, I know everything. I know everything. That's love. Uh, rubbing elbows 
being, you know what I'm saying, being being a good nigga mm-hmm. allows you to stay in 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 good standards and good spirits with people who are who have things going on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when you good to those type of people, when they make it to wherever they going to, or going, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But uh they bring you the ty- you the, you the type of person that I'm, I'm you the t- you the type of person that they want to bring with them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yep. So how you treat a motherfucker? You know what I'm saying? Why they why they down and fucked up and just the regular old uh, uh, Joe Schmo? Mm-hmm. It, 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 it determines and predicts. You know what I'm saying? As far as how far you how far how far they go with you. The only life. difference is exactly. the only difference is from the day you got locked up to now is you you sharpened your brain mentally. Like, everything. Like you sharpened yourself. That's all it is. Like now you, now you know. You feel me? You bumped your head a few times. You did what you did. So now you sharpened your tools. And you, now you ready type shit. Yes, sir. And this is what I'm gonna say about bro. I respect that, God. Peace. You know, everybody that go to jail ain't fucked up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <coughs> and, and good people sometimes make bad decisions. <coughs> For sure. Bro is an incredible person. But his biggest character flaw is he loves hard. Like if he love you, he love you for real. Mm-hmm. And he gonna go to the to, he gonna go to hell and back for you. And everybody don't know how to appreciate that type of love. Yeah. And a motherfucker that don't know how to value somebody like bruh, they'll use his love against him. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like sometimes love will put you in a bad situation. Whoa. And that's just what he he fell victim of, twice, both times. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, so laugh yeah. at my pain. Bro. Y'all ain't laughing, bro. Laugh. I mean, because I, <laughs> I mean, I know I, how it be, bro. Because I ain't gonna lie, I got the same problem. I just can't never, I can't never find it. I got the same problem, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I know how it be. That's why I ain't laugh, bro. Yeah, nah, I, for real. Like, yeah. Cause, cause that, that, and that's that's the irony of life. Yeah. I promise you. Yeah. Like, hold on, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. There we go. I told you. I told y'all I find it. Yeah, laugh at my pain, bro. Yeah, bro. Because like, I, I know I, how that shit be. I share the pain, though. Like, that's. On yeah, thing, that's why I was like, up here like, that, man. That for, I, just, I, totally I just had to understand. think about that shit, bro. Like, man, like that shit crazy. It's, it's the irony. Yeah, because it'd be like you love hard with, with then motherfuckers be expecting that shit from you. And then when you don't, when you just, just isolate yourself, they make it seem like you wrong. Yeah. yeah. That, but, and he like, done went through that yeah, too. Yeah, bro. Like, that, that's went, what I'm going through right that's now. That's why I ain't even going to lie. That's why I got to the point where I just isolate myself completely and... I block out everything. Like I got a tattoo that said "The world is yours." That's how I look at it. You feel me? Like I operate how I want to operate because I don't want to go mm-hmm. based off on how somebody else think of me. Like, oh well, he not showing love. I'm showing love, but I'm showing love from a distance because I gotta sharpen my tools. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. like I make sure I show love to everybody as much as I can. But at the end of the day, I still want to make sure I'm straight too. You feel me? Yeah, you, and you got to because mm-hmm. you ain't straight. I, people, if, the, the people that around you that yeah. depend on you. They ain't gonna be I tell everybody I know, I tell them, I'm like, everything gonna make sense in the next 10 years, for sure. Mm. <laughs> All right, so listen, as good as this conversation is, we gotta finish talking about what we've been up to <laughs> so we can get to the topic. Respectfully. Y'all. And I, and I, because I, re- I like these type of conversations where they happen organically, mm-hmm. but we're trying to keep ourselves to a time frame now, and um, we got a lot of shit to talk about. You feel me? He's moving so, professionally now. Most definitely. Yeah, I, I, yeah it's a... Yeah, you got it. You got you got to dress for the job that you want. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> so listen, what I've been up to is I've started a new career path. I've become an over the road driver. Um, in the past week, I've been more places than I've probably ever been in my life. Uh, I've been to Virginia. I've been to North Carolina, South Carolina. I've been to Atlanta, Tennessee, and back. And I'm about to go to New York on Monday. You hear me? Yeah. Let me ask you something. So, so a nigga say. roll running now. What's up? So have you have you stopped anywhere? Did any uh, food tasting or anything like that? Um, you know, I went to, uh, I can't remember the name of the restaurant, but it was a Mexican restaurant. Okay. And let me tell you. Where was it? Them, um, where, where I was it? in Tennessee. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, I was in Carolina. Okay. I was in South Carolina, uh, Columbia, South Carolina, to be specific. And it was a Mexican restaurant. Let me tell you, 
them burrito tacos hit different down south, boy. <laughs> That's my favorite, boy. Them motherfuckers, that shit tastes so much different. I don't even know if I'll ever go to El Toro's you, ever. El Toro's is like the McDonald's of Mexican restaurants. Let me, let me I see tell that you something. Fuck El Toro's, bro. Shout out to Philip Morgan, bro. I'm on my mama. Best burrito, best burrito tacos in the city, bro. Are you going to have um, to direct me? Yes. You, know, you know what we're going to have to do. Under yeah. That thing, GPS, For sure. Man. Yeah. Um, yeah. GPS on that. So I had that. Uh, outside of that, I was really, I had tunnel vision for this first week. You know, the first week is the worst week. Mm-hmm. That's when you're getting over them financial humps yeah. and you got to move strategic. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I was eating at, I was doing fine dining with hella Christmas food gift cards. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> I was at, uh, I've been to fucking, uh, the outback like three times. Hey, say we rich in spirit too <laughs> now. Come that. on now. <laughs> For real. You know what I mean? I hate yeah. that shit. So, uh, yeah, that's all i really been up to, just traveling all week and back. And I had to make sure we di- we did pod. Yago was busy. Brandy was busy. So, I, you know, I reached out to some people so we can make this shit happen. Mm-hmm. What you been up to, brother? Whew. Man, working like a slave, boy, when I say. I thought you was bullshitting until you posted your schedule. Man, look. I, I, I had to, bro. I said, this shit is real, y'all. This shit is real. <laughs> ain't had a day off in probably about a month and a half. But I ain't going to lie. I snuck one in Martin Luther King uh, Jr. Day. You heard me. Yeah. I said, I woke up. I said, fuck y'all. I ain't going in. Mm-hmm. I, I, I put my foot down that, that nigga day. said coming in there for y'all was not <laughs> hey, a part of his dream. God you hear me? <laughs> Talk to him. Dream I had. Oh, and everything. Man, oh. But. Outside of that, bro, I've been I've been working, bro. But man, going through something right now, bro. I got this motherfucking athlete's foot shit going on, bro. When I say irritating as fuck, how did that happen, bro? I I blame my work boots. I shit, that's spending that's, too much time in. That's, them. that's 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 my conclusion. God damn it, I'm blaming it on my work boots. I, Cause I wash my feet thoroughly. God damn it, yeah for sure. My shit don't stink. None of that shit. But <laughs> <laughs> oh gang, bro, this shit's uh, some bullshit though. I had to go get some shit, uh, Lotrimin or some shit, and I got the gold bond foot powder, man. So. Hopefully, I get rid of this shit in about a week or two. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, man. Them, them dogs you gotta take care of, man. Yeah, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie, you gotta treat nigga. your feet like a car. Ooh, man, you know what? how to be like, Better you take care that. of your car, your car take care of you. Man, what? Same difference. Hey, this shit hit like a goddamn two ton truck holding a trailer, goddamn it. I said, <laughs> what the fuck? Why my feet itching? Let me ask. It's a bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> have you have why have you been sitting on the couch scratching your feet? You watched anything interesting lately? You silly as this fuck. This is our man. residential movie guy. I, he tells us about the new shit he's seen, some shit, you know what I mean? Respectfully. All right, so uh I had to catch up on my power, bro. I I feel I, I, I've I been still gotta watch on that. that. I gotta I watch the, ne- the episode so, that came out last. I tripping. I, I literally. No, I'm one episode behind. I just got home. I was on the road. Uh, for, yeah. Yeah. I can't watch. I ain't trying to <laughs> yeah. die trying to watch Kanan. So off, I, off the record, be just to yeah. interrupt. I I I don't know why I feel impelled to do this. Yeah. But I am so far behind. I I, I envy and je- I'm envious of y'all. And jealous that y'all are, are as far as y'all are with power. Oh uh, yeah, he was still watching the original <laughs> Power series so while, I, cause while I, so while I was but incarcerated, look, all yeah. these spinoffs came out. Let me tell you so something. I, where I'm Hold at, him... Ghost, Kanan, and Tommy then click back they, up they together. Didn't, they didn't click. He way behind. This all is right, before right. any kinda, spinoff I'm ever kinda, came out. Go ahead. I'm kind of jealous of go you ahead. because... I was in elementary. I'm, you what? get to watch it all. Damn, you that young? 21. Yeah. It, ooh, yeah. I was in elementary. When, I'm kind of... Middle school, probably. Yeah, think about it. It's Max son, man. <laughs> I, but I, I, it, it just made me feel so much older. My oldest is 21. So yeah, when you uh-huh. say he was in middle school, and now I'm talking about how far I am back on this... Power thing, like damn. You gotta think. Power had what? Seven, eight seasons. Six, yeah, six seasons. Six it seasons, goes back episodes. a while now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah, it got, almost I, I ten wanna, years. It, yeah, six seasons. I was about to say episodes. it came out like in in twelve or thirteen. It came or out shit like that. Yeah, back when I used to live in Westwood. Back when I was still a part of Buku yeah. when when Gosh, Power dang. first came out. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, man. 
shit, that's pretty much it, though. Just working, man, trying to take care of myself, bro. What what you been up to, man? Man, so I didn't got active with the camera. So I just been running studio sessions, shooting videos. Just been doing that hella back to back. Because mm-hmm. I just been running up a little buzz on the video side. I learned how to do the little clone shit on the editing. So I make it be like one person sitting right here. And you know T Hunt? It's my cousin. Yeah, I shot a video for him in a club and he was it was two of them sitting in one spot. So it was one sitting down and one he was standing up right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I learned how to do that shit and I'm just I'm just working my way with it, trying to find new shit to learn and shit like that. That's and, oh yeah, Shout make sure y'all stay hunt. uh Look. stay looking out for that. We rolling live too. Episode one just dropped on my YouTube right now. We about to have this rolling every Friday. New rappers, live performances, make sure y'all tap in. Okay, that's what's up. Oh yeah, I, I want to see gonna that. Ain't gonna lie, as much shit as he was just popping, my little nigga still being modest. You feel me? And I'm really <laughs> feeling like my spirit is telling me to pop some shit for my little nigga. You hear me? Go ahead, pop Cause you it, got man. me well, fucked okay. up. I mean, my nigga, hold on, the... stop. I'm already, I'm already going. I'm <laughs> going. Right, I'm right. here now. <laughs> you got me fucked up. My little nigga starred in that Yellow Pain video. How many views that got on Yellow Pain's page? Oh yeah, million. How many mm. views it got on your page? Mm. 10,000. Man, don't lose me. Don't get me fucked up. He's a co- co-star from the hit TV show Fit Now. Ain't y'all on like season two or something like that? Mm-hmm. Stay tuned. Yeah. Ain't Stay y'all doing it a little, yeah, ain't yeah, y'all doing it a little bit bigger than the last time before? Mm. Man, y'all got my little nigga fucked up, man. Yeah, he, yeah. Stay tuned. My boy is on his way to GOAT status, and I'm extremely proud of my boy oh, getting this shine on. Appreciate it. Like, the first time he's ever been on a camera like that was in one of my music videos. You hear me? Period. Like, him and my son, like this, like real little, bro. So to watch him grow up and turn into what he turning into, he got... Like, so much of a leg ahead of what we was doing. Like, where he is compared to where we was at his age. This, I mean, I'm I'm almost sure that he is going to probably be a millionaire like 10 years from now, bro. But you, but you know, uh, uh, to, to, to add some uh, input with that, though, you know what, help, what helps that or what gives him the advantages, uh, who his daddy is. Or just not even just right. who is well yeah I give you that because he's been yeah, around all this different be, shit because and then, of, and then the people that his daddy be around be type of people who be involved in shit like this so this is something that he was that with him seeing <coughs> he was gonna go to have some type of this was his forward. destiny was, type shit you see what I'm saying yeah uh-huh. for sure where, like it's almost where, destined to, for him to do it to where most of to where for us the older generation for a lot of our parents who wasn't around you know what I'm saying we our shit came from just being tuned in to our, who our favorite rapper was and, and mimicking them and what we like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's how we ended up liking it. You know what I'm saying? Either we was just a consumer of the music far as every time they drop, we throw on the cop. Or we literally jumped or, in. Or we really re- yeah. we, are we really relating to what they talking about. And so they didn't inspired me mm-hmm. to pick up this pen and paper or to, you know what I'm saying, start a uh, uh, conjuring up these words and putting them to, putting them together you know what I'm saying no, it's the unique what thing about this is it's like everybody that I've been around like Peso Jason you know it's not like I just met them I literally been around them for 10 plus years like and that's kind of what he's saying I ain't gonna lie I met I met Pe- the first time I ever met Peso it's on YouTube right now you can see me in the back recording I'm like nine years old. Yeah. Nino in the video. It was like JJ Hustle or something like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, Peso, I shot it. I literally was recording the other, other side in the background. And and my pops was like, he was like this. And you could see me. Yeah. Like, yeah, this it's been like, I've been around. It just I had to. I had to meet the right people, learn the right shit to be able to get in a position like Ain't right now. Lie. Your documentary gonna be fire. Oh, you hear me? Oh, you listen. Your documentary <laughs> gonna be because he got actual visual timestamps behind this shit. The show, like, no, he I've been, really been, been, been really been doing groomed for this shit since I was little. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's gonna yeah. be dope. Snowman, what's up with you, big dog? What you been up to? Tell me something good. Just uh working and editing and like he said, trying to learn some new stuff. Yeah. So I don't get stuck in a plateau. It's time to start shooting some videos or something, huh? Right, right. I uh I cooked up the a little birthday meal for my brother today. Uh yeah. what was what was, what was the dish? Uh well it was gonna be pulled pork, but we were low on time, so we had to cook it faster than you know you need to to pull it. So mm-hmm. it was chunks of pork mm-hmm. <laughs> and barbecue sauce. <laughs> hey, it still came out really good. I was about to say, was it good? Oh, yeah. And I just want to say uh, happy birthday, Chris. All right, happy birthday, hey, Chris, Chris, man. man. One time birthday. for Chris. Happy birthday. Chris. On Mary All right, that's good shit. We about to get into some of these topics. 